Welcome to Shardcast, the Brandon Sanderson podcast. We're a bunch of mega fans giving you the news discussion and, of course, a whole lot of opinions about Brandon's works and the Cosmere. I'm Eric, and joining me is Ian. Hey, I'm your writer. Also joining me is Evgeny. Hi, I'm Argent, and my nose hairs bother me today. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for sharing with the class. Uh, why do you have a screen door? Uh, to keep the bugs out. Yeah, but why is it yeah, inside? To... Well, screen door outside. The bugs are outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the bugs... I don't think it's. I don't think this is an effective use of a screen door being like on a desk, like no, you have so, here. So, no, it's it's on the ground. So yeah, but that laying against there, the desk. Yeah, I was I was taking some um some some veggies out from my room to the outside. From the spiritual uh, realm, as we can clearly see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it was it was it was like a portal to the spiritual realm, except there was this this blockage. Um, <laughs> Jesus. And uh, I I had to uh, get rid of it, so I just I just haven't put it back back on. Cool. I'm glad you managed to clear your blockage. Yeah, yeah, no, it was like I I could not get the stuff out without. So many doing... people are tuning off to the show. <laughs> also joining me is Ben. What's up? I'm Overlord Jeebus, and Argent's nose hair bother me as well. <laughs> Why do you know about his nose hair? Do you need to tell something to your wife? I'm... Do we need to talk to the overlady about this? I mean, you assume she doesn't know. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> well, that's... that's... <laughs> it's true. So many people have just tuned out already. Uh, Ian's the only so one who... People. Ian's the only one who does this intro correctly. And... and... <laughs> on schedule see from where i stand he's the only one who does it incorrectly exactly touche touche good sir <laughs> today guys we are going to continue talking about the lord ruler except none of these people were on the lord ruler podcast that we did last week so great but last week we talked about character and history and so you know what we're gonna do today guys we're gonna talk about potato cast and we're gonna we're gonna talk about the lord ruler's abilities and grace is like i'm out Thanks. <laughs> I don't want to be on that show. So, all right. So, we're we're here. So, abilities. He so yes. he has alamancy and frucumy. That's true. Uh, and he, he has read. Yes, he has all those abilities, which some in the fandom call a fullborn, but that is in fact a fan made term from a fan fiction uh, piece. Actually, that is not a real term. I did not know that. I really like. It's not a real form. term, yet. Yet. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't remember that piece of fan fiction, but I remember it being not good, and so I don't like that term "fullborn" because of it. <laughs> I never knew there was a piece of fan like. Yeah, I, I didn't, didn't know that was. That was the, I thought somebody on uh, like the forums, for example, came up with the term because of of "twinborn" from Era Two, and it it always made sense to me. And this I is always the. That was the first time that I saw Fullborn in like yes. 2011. And <laughs> the fan fiction opinions of Eric are do not no. reflect no, 17th Shard as I No, they don't. <laughs> yeah, my my opinions do not uh yeah, you mean anything really. It's like I don't like a lot of things. I agree with know? that, Eric. I mean, it's fine. But, see, here's the thing. He's not just a Mistborn, and he didn't eat a beat of Lorassium. Screw you, say Zed, for being like, oh, yeah, all the original Alamancers ha had that ability. Thanks, say Zed. No, the Lord Ruler didn't even eat a beat of Lorassium. He remade himself with the power of the Well of Ascension. In um, Saw Zed's defense, Brandon took a while to actually make that decision. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and then, like, he was like, you have to canonize this now. And he's like, eh, I'm going to go with the well. So, <laughs> well, I think that was the good question. It's all Brandon's fault. Are you saying that Brandon didn't have everything perfectly figured out in 2008? No way. Unbelievable. There How is nothing wrong he? with ATM. Ugh. What do you mean he's not infallible? <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, in 2008, the book said Adenasium and didn't have an L in it, so... <laughs> okay, that was a typo. <laughs> so he says, like, I figured this name, but... By There's the way, no I L in this one. Sazed? I realized... Sazed? But I... 
<laughs> See? I realized my the copy of Miss Spawn the Final Empire that I first read yeah. has that typo in it. So I blame my mispronunciation of Aiden Alcium no, entirely on that. That typo. is absolutely exactly that not what <laughs> It has nothing to do with an L. <laughs> you no, no, go no. with like Andalasium. That is a thing you said before. All I'm saying is Says was new to his power and and he was not as good at peering into the spiritual realm. Yeah, and, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Extracting yeah. names out of there. Uh-huh. <laughs> and so it was it was just a um, um there was interference in the line. Yeah, we'll fix it in a reprint, maybe. But <laughs> but regardless. Did that even... I don't think that even changed in the leather bound, uh, because says that still oh, no, says. I, I think I think it would have. Yeah. If only one of us had to find an empire leather bound, like in the background. Oh, uh, you mean the Hero <laughs> of Ages leather bound? Damn. Leatherbound. Damn. And Leatherbound. also, we were referring to the Hero of Ages leather bound. So this one, yeah. Uh, yeah. That is most definitely uh, um, the tin. symbol for Alimantic tin. Tin number three. <laughs> Also, the guess. third one is the only one that has the the dangly bit. No, they all have the dangly bit. No, do they? Yeah. I have an open mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, they all have the dangly bit. Fast, I just I just grabbed that one from my from my fancy bookcase in the main room. <laughs> but anyway, there so here's the thing with the Lord Ruler's abilities. His allomancy is ridiculous. His his soothing yeah. is like that we just see, like, oh, yeah, Credit Shaw, he just pulses out soothing. That's just oppressively awful to everyone. Does he do that when he sleeps? I think he does. He does. It just Does it's he board. sleep? Wow, yeah, that's a good point. I mean, actually. Maybe, maybe a little bit. Like, he could probably do the, the wakefulness. Yeah. Like, if he's bored, maybe. Like, eh, well, I'm bored, I'm gonna But sleep. he's bored all the time. <laughs> 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 like why? it's like yeah i gotta get a lot of work done about being apathetic about things in the last <laughs> like i have a long hard day of sitting in this room and ignoring everything <laughs> great yeah, well i, I mean he did I do wonder, this as we talked about I, I do wonder how how he like starts perceiving time like when you're a thousand years old oh that's true like how do you perceive time yeah Time yeah. bubbles. He could have access to time <laughs> bubbles. Uh, he could have, yeah, why not? Yeah. What what the Lord Ruler knew was a lot. And but it just like blows my mind how ridiculously powerful that soothing is. I and, think that's my like on the level of everything we've seen in the cosmos, absolutely. soothing like a substantial like it was how big how big Const was it? Like a, it was around was the all, whole palace and the whole palace like, sector, like wasn't it? Yeah, was it like the whole area it was like that amount of soothing and just affecting that large of an area. And it just like being so individual. overpoweringly oppressive yeah, yeah. that it's like Duralumin soothing, but just constantly the entire time. It's yeah, ridiculous. Like it's not, it's not it? just people feeling kind of meh. It's like they were f finding it difficult to act. Yeah. To yeah. Think. Like, and doing that constantly it? for however Ever. long. Well, like he's was he created himself as a super strong almancer like yes above the level of a lorossia misborn yes that is true no. and then he's been doing it for a thousand years so he's like super savant yes and yeah. we do have a word of brandon that basically he's a savant in everything yeah. because he's just been doing stuff and for so long and he may or may not be able to compound elemental well abilities. we'll get to that yeah. we'll get to that we'll get to that part. we'll get to that i'm just saying maybe Maybe. yeah but so he, he is super strong but man it, it, it is just so impressive to me that soothing i've always yeah, no, one I thing was... i've always thought so it's always described as like the effect being around kedrick shaw and he's what? sometimes oh, like... wait, wait, wait. oh what? kedrick shaw <laughs> no I got he, the name wrong? he did not say kedrick he, yeah, he did he said credit no he didn't no, no i think i said kedrick he said... no he totally <laughs> he definitely <laughs> kedrick. said yeah. kedrick right Credrick? Credic? Credic? Credic. Jesus Credic. Christ. Credic. Credic. Well, I say Credic. <laughs> Lord Ruler, Credic, sure. save me. <laughs> ah. So, uh, Critic Shaw, like, it was described <laughs> as always being around there. <laughs> did it, When he left, did it, like, stay at Credic Shaw? No, it, no. it followed him. No? If, did it follow him? Okay. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's people, but, you know, obviously, like, in, people were feeling the wave of, of yeah. 
control. Yeah. You could tell when the Lord moving. Ruler arrived to Fountain Square. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was I was rereading that scene recently for reasons. And it, it was That's so cool. When the Lord Ruler arrives, it's like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> so oh. good. Uh, no, I've 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 always been a, a sucker for the powerful assholes. Yeah. <laughs> it's what you aspire <laughs> to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I no, mean, I've got I'm I'm fifty percent there. Evgeny, me too. <laughs> Like as we talked about, I would be a dust bringer, and if I had magical powers, I would be awful with them. I would not be honorable at all. I remember a while ago trying to write something from the Lord Ruler's perspective and just trying to juggle all of his abilities. It's ridiculous. He could just use them all the time. It's like, yeah. do I need regular pewter, compounded strength uh, pewter? Should I tap regular pewter or compound it? Just like that alone. You can use ferrochemical zinc to think really fast and then compound that to just, like, think as fast as you want. And when you think about all that, you think, wow, the Lord Ruler did not take Vin seriously. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Like, no. Like, not like, at all. <laughs> like we no, said before it, the podcast started, one of his abilities was just an astronomical sense of arrogance. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, yeah. From his perspective, like he is God, like yeah, like whether he, or not that he will, he, what that meant, like he definitely thought of himself as being yep, all that yep. and a box of crackers. But he did think of himself at the Hero of Ages as the end, and 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 I think Brandon has said that, like during his encounter with Vin, like it it did not cross his mind that he could possibly die, like. He's the guy who's walked out of <laughs> burning buildings, burning buildings, and 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 returned from decapitations. Right? Why bother defending himself? You know, beyond just casually backslapping uh, random kind of... born who, yeah, I mean, destroyed a very valuable he, inquisitor. He really, <laughs> as he walked over to Kelsier, people just stabbed him with a spear, and he's just like. I'm literally not even going to pay attention to it. <laughs> I just literally don't care. Slap Kelsey Art, let the executions begin. I'm out of here. <laughs> going home. Yeah. So yeah. Seeing seeing like a 16, 17 year old, like urchin looking starved girl, like he's not gonna take her seriously. Yeah. Considering probably like Laracia Mistborns near the beginning tried to kill him, and that <laughs> did not go well. So it's like, <laughs> ah, you're a Mistborn from this century, whatever. Yeah. Thanks, Mists. Yeah. You really yeah. got it in there. But yeah. if you also think about it, the Lord Ruler is super soothing, also lets him take control of hemallergic constructs like the Coloss. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I think, I have always thought this, that the Lord Ruler can do this to his Inquisitors. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I don't yeah. know if that's been, like, confirmed as a thing he could do, but, like, I don't see why the Coloss would be any different, because that's this is the same exploit Ruin uses to exploit. Yeah, yeah and um, Inquisitors definitely. have way more spikes than Coloss. Yeah, exactly. So they'd, yeah. Have way, they'd, be, they'd actually probably be more susceptible exactly. to it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But he just doesn't do I'm... that. <laughs> he yeah. could have just, before, like, Marsh... Well, but when? Like, in the fight with Vin. Like, he could have just done... Yeah, but, like, why bother? <laughs> no, I, I understand that. I'm just saying, if the Lord Ruler wanted to destroy you, what he could do is he could mind control Coloss, and he could mind control, like, 20 Inquisitors, and he wouldn't even need to do a thing. That's not even starting with what he's doing. Sure, yeah. Yeah. But, like, he gets bored, and, like, eh... I, I know. I, I'll I'll deign to in, deal with you myself. To to backslap you. Yeah, I know. I know. It's it's just mind blowing. I I think there was a word of Brandon where someone was asking Susabron versus the Lord Ruler, and I think yeah. anyone who asks that and doesn't think the Lord Ruler is just wow. Yeah. The Lord Ruler is ridiculous. He yeah. is. Susabron is also super nice and it's a cinema tool <laughs> to pure for this world like that, that is all of that is true but Susan Braun also has colossal amounts of power yeah yes i don't i don't know if, if he's quite up there at at Rashek's level but 
50 plus thousand breaths are he's very invested at least he yeah. is yeah is anyone but... at Rashex level uh, or do you, technically you speaking opponent? i think Suze Vron is probably more invested yep but uh, Rashek is not invested all the time yeah Rashek has more skill and understanding of his powers and is also stone cold killer and would willing to willing to kill someone yeah yeah <laughs> uh yeah so he's not like highly invested per se mistborn in general limited, or not but that doesn't necessarily make him more invested yeah it well what is being highly invested mean in the context he's a, he's of mistborn a, is a little weird He's a deflated, mis invested balloon, you know. Well, it's like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it's 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 hard to say. Yeah, no, I think he has access to considerable amounts of investiture. Yeah, I I think I have seen um, a word of Brandon somewhere that establishes Mistborn as generally not very invested. Yeah, I remember that. Unless they are burning a metal at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, which yeah. which makes a lot of sense. Like they're they're in the same position as a radiant would be when they have no access to stormlight. He would be. I'm sorry, I just realized he would be incredibly heavily invested in because uh, he's constantly tapping massive amounts of youth. So he would be extremely heavily invested from that. Uh... He is tapping, but that's kinetic. I assume, it's like it's doing kinetic. work at the moment. It's, it's like in his yeah. body, though. It is actively suppressing his physical age. I, and it's and it has to it's it's a huge weight of investiture pushing down on his actual natural age. I guess I just kind of... feel like with being highly invested, stormlight when you have a lot of it, it confers to you certain things. The Lord Ruler doesn't have that; he just has like these particular traits, mm -hmm. except uh, for his age. Like, like the, him, his him suppressing no, his age is no, 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 active, no, active investiture use. Constantly. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just not saying. Within his I'm body, just yeah. saying. Yeah. A radiant just automatically kind of gets healed, whereas the Lord Ruler has to specifically tap healing, right? Yeah. Well, but that may be a property of Stormlight specifically. That's well. Like holding holding a lot of breath doesn't heal you automatically, and and just being an Elantrian, like a fully transformed Elantrian, the fact that the door courses through you doesn't heal you automatically. I guess that's true. Correct. That is true. Yeah. So that's, that that's not a property of investiture. Although I can see why it's kind of reasonable to assume that it is, right? Because, invest, inve because investiture seems to... No, that, that may be Stormlight again, specifically. I was going to say that investiture seems to push people towards their spiritual self uh well like stormlight perfect sort of does because it, it, it like it, it is yeah it's a lot of sort of going on breath there. confers some things it brings them closer to endowment yeah i i i think i'm gonna settle on the healing is a stormlight well, thing void light does some yeah. healing too yeah well that also could be a void light yeah yeah. No. yeah, well, I, I, I think that's more similarities between the lights well, true. rather than true, true, true. That's that's totally fair. But regardless, like how invested someone is is not super useful as a distinction. Like how invested is Kaladin just when he has his bond with Syl? You know, mm. uh, like yeah. Syl confers certain things, but if he doesn't breathe stormlight, then he can't do things. So it's kind of not a useful distinction, I would say, in some sense. You could you could probably make the argument that he is, technically speaking, more invested than he would be if Sil wasn't there. Yeah, yeah. But but that like additional amount is is so minuscule that it doesn't matter for the purposes of like, well, somebody's trying to push a metal through. Right. You. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I always was under the impression that the Lord Ruler controlled all the Coloss armies all the time. Yes. Same. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Matt was thinking that that was not the case last week, but I was I, or, I always thought maybe... that he always did cuz once well, you who... yeah. once you controlled a Coloss then you could always control them no matter how far you were from them. Yeah. And it, think... it takes very little of like the difficulty is breaking through yeah. 
at the beginning yep. and then is just kind of passive like vin was able to sleep and and yeah, yeah. right right and, and for him it would be like way easier yeah. like it would like it would just happen like he wouldn't yeah. stand any resistance yeah because like yeah. He's wrong. there's there's also the element though he'd have to tell someone how to control hemorrhagic constructs and assumingly that would be an inquisitor and the inquisitor might be like hey i wonder if i tried this on my other inquisitor. well i i assume inquisitors know how to do that i i am i'm sure some did know how to control coloss armies because ma- it, because the, the, the thing, thing is in Hero of Ages? well under ruin uh, but yeah, like, they knew under ruin. Yeah, but like that—that yeah. that doesn't indicate that they always knew it. But like, let let's say you are taking your Kolos armies to fight bandits in the Burnlands, as you do, right? The Lord Ruler could just cede control to an Inquisitor who's commanding them. Like that's just more oh, yeah. efficient, right? Yeah. And sure, because the Lord Ruler, Much. though he can control them and like order them around. He's not going to be able to do, like, battlefield tactics. It's like, okay, this group yeah. goes here, this group goes no. here, right? But, like, in order for him to, like, remake, retain control, like, after, like, he would have to go to where the core oh, I guess that's is true. and take it back. Yeah. Which, that does, well, yeah. Just, I don't think he would give the Inquisitors that much control. Yeah. Because like, he's, he was always aware, it's like, these things are of ruin. <laughs> Doesn't doesn't uh, Ellen give Vin control over some like a small? He like pass. he severed. Pass. Did he pass? I thought he yep. just like severed connection and then Vin took control. I feel I like am, he passed them over. I think I'm reasonably right. sure uh, there are like situations where they just pass groups back and forth. Yeah, but did Vin and Ellen need to be near each other? They would. Yeah. So the, I well, feel I like don't... if that was the way it works, then yeah, the Inquisitor. I don't would... know if. If they needed to be, but they were in all of those situations. Sure. Yeah. Okay, so Ian, you found the quote. Yes, and looking at it now, I can see why there is some debate here. I didn't even um, know that we had no. a debate on this until today. So <laughs> great, I'm, yeah. I'm glad. So, give me one of the coolos. Van finally said, pulling out of the embrace. Alend released one of the medium large creatures, letting Vin take control of it. Blah, 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 blah. He still didn't understand how they controlled the creatures. So once he had control of a Coloss, he couldn't control it indefinitely, whether sleeping or awake, burning metals or not. And that's all that's relevant. So. Were they near the Coloss yeah. at all? Like they weren't. I mean, they were like in the arm, right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I mean, that was from Ellen's um, point of view, right? Yes. A little later on, it just says uh, Vin's lone Coloss wandered over and picked up the fallen inquisitor and the spike so like human was like within sight so presumably yeah. ellen released it and vin just did the bursty thing to take control rather than any that, that was always the like pressure okay I had. all right yeah sure sure sure, sure. maybe maybe uh, it's from ellen's pov yeah. so you don't really like, really know yeah like you don't you don't know if if her taking control involved burning metal or how dare brandon not scene switch so he can see that happen from both people's <laughs> point of view Gah, or, or or have or have Vin be like as you know ellen i am now burning <laughs> you're a lumen ah <laughs> uh, yes my, my favorite sort Native of butler dialogue yes <laughs> let's have a council meeting where we discuss how controlling Coloss works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I guess I guess he the Lord Ruler wouldn't really give control of Coloss to Inquisitors generally. Probably not. But I also don't think he would need to like do that. Like I can't imagine many situations where he needs like granular control of a bunch of like He's got so many, and they're so strong and brutish that yeah. if he has a problem, I guess the idea is demolish the town. Down. Don't really care yeah. how. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like he has human armies for the fine control. Like, I guess that's true. if he's yeah. pulling out the coloss, like he doesn't care about collateral damage. Yeah, yeah. Like that's uh, that was like this off the map, you know. Like with human, who was originally called Vershad. Mm-hmm. Did not know that. It yeah. was, it was in the end. the. The Lord Ruler got sick of his antics and sent a Coloss army, and all the <laughs> humans that were killed were also turned into Coloss. <laughs> yep, true story. 
Uh, cool. That's why I love the annotations, because you just get that background that you just would never have gotten ever. And no yeah, one would have thought to answer. I miss those. Yeah. I miss those so much. But then yeah. you prefer he actually write new books, which is also fair. I, I prefer he actually writes some new books. I will trade. I mean, yes, I, I would oh, also trade that. For, like, Stormlight annotations. Yeah. <laughs> like, Stormlight annotations would be so cool. So there's one other uh, ability that the Lord Ruler has. It's this little thing called fair chemical nicrosil. Uh, uh, which no. stores investiture. <laughs> and we don't really know what that means. Because none of our characters have done this on screen. Although the... That we know of. Well, that we know of. Well, yeah. uh, from um, a viewpoint character of... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Although the well, plan for Era 3 main protagonist yes. is still a Nicrosil fairing. No, I thought it was a Nicrosil uh, misting. It was a burster. Pretty, pretty sure it's a fairing. No, I, I was pretty sure it was a thing where it was a girl who could enhance other people's ailmancy with Nicrosil. Mm. I thought, I think you're thinking of a Chromium fairing. There was a Chromium fairing who was a spinner, uh, but not, it was a Nicrosil misting. It was a Nicobrick. I feel like it's changed so much. Well, it's like, it that it, is certainly like, true. The Era 3 plans have it's an Elmetic SWAT team. Now it's something else. Now it's something slightly. Now it's different. hacking. Now it's this, and it's like this this is it's, I think we're probably probably gonna write something completely different to everything he's told us. We could do an episode on that. all the inc uh, on all the Era 3 speculation, but maybe we should <laughs> probably wait till Era 2's done. Yes, yeah. I know I've asked Brandon. There was a Nicrosil misting. Yeah, in, in 2012, it was a Nicrosil misting. Yep. yep. Uh, the woman is planned to be a computer and a Nicroburst. Boom. I do think there was a mm. uh, there was a spinner, uh, a chromium yeah. bearing. Sometimes I forget things, but sometimes I remember things. <laughs> on, on a strong day, I remember things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on a strong day. Okay, Tara Van Gian. Yep. <laughs> hey. I mean, what could go wrong? <laughs> yeah, with the with the Nicrosil Farukami. Yes. We this is getting a little bit off the Lord Ruler, but yeah, we may yeah. have seen that with the with the bands. So we may have seen a viewpoint character. Well, we saw tapping Bane. investiture. God, it's been so long uh, since I've read bands. I've I've never reread that book. Uh, yeah. Okay, I did it's, find it's my not WAP, but it's oh. unclear. Uh, what are we talking about? We're talking about wax. Tapping Nicrosil, and we still have bands. no idea what that means. Despite the fact we've had a viewpoint character potentially, maybe right because now, he kind of just got means. all the abilities just kind of inherently. Like it, it yeah. wasn't like you were a specific. I I have always thought that similar to how tin tin ferrochemy works, where you have each metal mine does a specific sense. Yeah. Uh, Nicrosil, uh, storing investiture. You would like put this is my alimantic pewter, and I'm tapping, and I'm storing that in this metal mind, and and you have to split it up like that. Yeah, that was the impression I always. That's had reasonable. As well. I think yeah. the Mistborn Adventure game did something different, but that is not canonical. Yeah, that's uh, for those, so that's important to know. <laughs> uh, what was the wob that you found, Evgeny? From a couple of years back, I asked Brandon about the plot of Mistborn. Era three, just as a as a summary, and I was like, so so far, putting all the things together, we have a uh, Nicrosil fairing terrorist woman hacker recruited oh. for field work in an Alomancer SWAT team to chase a Mistborn serial killer, and I ask, so you said that. how? Yeah, I said that. Oh, <laughs> uh, and and like Brandon didn't correct me, but I can see how like Nicrosil might not have shush, shush. you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, wasn't there a thing a while back where, like, with Hold the... Hold on, that was on Reddit. Look, Brandon doesn't have time to patenticast everything that people yeah. say. <laughs> like, like, he's just going to answer the main question, but... uh, He knew what you were asking. Yeah, yeah. It was like, he yeah. knows in his brain that, like, oh, it's a Nicrosil misting, so it might not just have registered. He answered the spirit of your question and not the details. <laughs> that he's is doing that more is odium than honor. If he corrected and... everyone every time they asked something that was wrong, that would be a really oh, man. easy oh. way of getting information from him. 
He does well. do that sometimes, though. So, Brandon, like, I rarely say people are past wrong, past Sanderson. <laughs> <laughs> so that that's what I always thought that Nicrosil, uh, Nicrosil mines worked, but mm-hmm. I guess that doesn't quite make sense with the bands. But the bands are weird. Bands are very weird. But like, they're the bands are like effectively hundreds of metal mines. Right. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there, it could be split out like that. Yeah, that's true. And so uh, we get to. <laughs> I love. I love this quote. So the last time Brandon's been on the forums was uh 2012. Oh, it was a good time. Tech. Well, he has posted once. So. That's true. That's true. But this was Brandon actually responding. He's done one AMA thing, and didn't even answer all that the things. He never- that he never finished. So, Dyring asked a question about waxes pushing and stuff. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't really matter, except that uh, Dyring asked, Is this how the Lord Ruler improved his soothing in such a spectacular fashion? And Brandon and said this. Well, the Lord Ruler, don't forget, could compound any allomancy he wanted. That crazy that creates some crazy effects. Yeah. Yeah, well, I def- reason- don't forget. Don't forget. I he's obviously mentioned this before. Don't forget, so, guys. So I have I have two questions. <laughs> I have so many because, questions. No, I mean everyone has so many questions because I don't have the wab in front of me right now. One, um this is from 2012. 2012. Yeah. So alloy has been out. Yes. 100%. And compounding is a thing that is talked about in Alloy because yes. Miles. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, I Great. know in 2011, uh, I asked a question. This was all like paraphrased. And I did note that Brandon implied there was a way to compound to enhance Allomancy also in the same vein. Which um, is often com- uh, referred to as reverse compounding in the fandom. Right. Because... Yeah compounding that we see in alloy you have a ferrochemical storage and then you're burning the ferrochemical storage that's like creating a new alimantic metal and you're that's what that's what brandon said before right uh and it's then drawing off of preservation's power to like supercharge it and so you get a more ferrochemy out Basically, yeah. I've never liked that metaphor. Well, <laughs> well, you can take it up with Brent. <laughs> Shades of I, cognitive realm. I don't know if that's how Brandon has described it. Like, no, he's definitely described it as as creating a new alum. In quotes, yeah. specifically, he... says it says in essence, you create a, oh, okay. a new right. alimentic metal. Okay, yeah. fine. That's what says it says in the epilogue of the final empire. Well, says that's untrustworthy, as we've seen. <laughs> oh yeah, the Lord Ruler is strong as all the other alimenters. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Got, gotta give says a few hundred years to to get into groove. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> talk with Brandon on how this works. <laughs> <laughs> Effectively, what's happening is like you are opening a conduit to preservation yeah. and drawing in investiture, and the Ferrochemical investiture is flavoring that yeah, right, right. as more of itself. Yeah, right, right. It's a it's a different key, rather. That's probably a fair way to Yeah. To and the metals it. are the key, so that's yeah. the it's it's oh, not a new oh, metal. Although why that would be a different key, like because you're still it's, it's a metal. different it's a different flavor. It's a different ice cream but, flavor. But it's you have the key. other flavor as well. You're but still it's, burning it's, the metal. It's tricking it. It's like it's, it's going tricking. like it's tricking it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like the ferrochemical char- charge is like causing some interference. Yeah. So the fact that Brandon just so casually talked about compounding in just a way that is uh not oh, how it? we've seen compounding is interesting. And I looked and I could not find Brandon talking about this really since that much. Hmm. Yeah, and. I'm this is more than just like using iron fruit me to affect your weight when you're using iron and steel alimancy. Like that, that really isn't compounding. That's just an application of the magic. That's, yes, it's enhancing the alimancy yes. technically, but eh. uh, there was there was a thing in JordanCon 2016 where 
it was asked that uh that the reverse compounding was a thing that actually exists and brandon said that it was this is also paraphrased but so yeah. you, you started off this discussion by mentioning Nicrosil furukumi. So I assume that means you think Nicrosil furukumi has something. It to has do with to it. be though. There's only one way to store. So you store the investiture into a Nicrosil mind. Yeah. And then you burn it. Ta da! See, I, I, I and no, the, the thing the that way. you stored is way. allomancy. And so then you're burning the parachemical charge to get more allomancy. Yeah, it's That's... basically like you're storing like strength in a metal. Yeah. And then compounding that so you can like tap on uh, your like iron allomancy and get super, super iron allomancy. There's no other mechanical way that I see that that could possibly work. To uh, let me tell you allomancy. another mechanical way that this could work. Oh, God. Okay, I'm so you you are tricking, when you do normal compounding, hmm. you're tricking a, a metal, an allomantic, well, metal in Alamancy with furukumi. Yes. So what I'm thinking is 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 the reverse would be you're tricking a ferrochemical uh, metal into accepting an alamantic attribute. So Wait, what? Say for example, maybe what? you could store you say for example, you are you're burning you're burning uh I'm trying to think of one that's like steel. You're burning steel. So you're burning you you you've got your ability to push. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're so yeah. well, so well visible. <laughs> they're, they're literally <laughs> visible on screen. So you, you've got, you've got, you, you, you've got your ability to push, but then somehow you trick steel into storing your ability to push. Are because thinking... because it's a steel ability. It's it's just like you are tricking a ferrochemical attribute. <laughs> I have so many jokes that I can make on this. First of all, so l- let me. Let me go through the list of jokes. First of all, <laughs> it, tricking the metal feels like Queen Saw sleeping with the moon. It's just, ah, oh, I'm tricking the moon. <laughs> it's very amusing to me. Secondly, if it's steel, then you could say it's stealing <laughs> the, al- the, the almantic ability. Pits, I know, these are really Whoa. 10 out of 10 jokes. And I'm glad you guys talked through the episode to hear it. <laughs> but I just, I just don't. Yeah, but how, Ben? That's just not how it works. I don't know. I don't know. So, are you thinking... How do you effect... trick the, the ferrochemical attribute It's to just the how it works. <laughs> exactly. Well, Maybe this is just how this works. <laughs> or we go with the thing that we already know how regular compounding works with the ferrochemical ability that we don't know how it works, and then it works yeah. that way. Are you thinking an effect similar to, like, the elementic grenade? Like oh, in, in that sense, Jeez. storing the alimentic effect, kind of. So oh, wow. essentially, what you'd be doing not, is you'd not, be... not not mechanically. I'm saying, is yeah. that what you mean as a as a as an effect, as an end result? You now have in, what I mean a is you now have... push stored in. Yes, you now have a piece of steel with steel push stored in it. So then you can tap that to increase your steel push at a later date like normal furukumi. You're using furukumi to enhance your elements. So effectively what um, compounding is, is you're fueling an end neutral system with an end positive system. Yeah. So right. how do you fuel an end positive system with an end neutral system? Because you're storing in the exact same way. You're storing what you're getting from preservation <laughs> in the end neutral system. You're just, you're just, for a future use. For future use. This I is. Just... But okay, Ben. Here's the thing. Yeah. If you're yeah. burning steel, the steel vaporizes and goes away, and then yeah. it is metabolized into the almantic effect. It's not like a thing that you can store into things because the only way you have to store it is. You can store things in steel with furukumi. I'm saying you get you get two pieces of steel. Okay. You pop okay. one in your mouth. And you burn it, and you're you're getting some of preservation's investiture in the form of the ability to push things. Okay. You then go with your bit of other second bit of steel, and you using your furukumi that you have, your steel furukumi ability to push things that that preservation's investor. You're storing See, that ability in the in the steel. See, I feel like that's just nicrosil. Isn't that literally just using nicrosil? The in difference. The... the difference is, is I am saying you're saying. 
any ability, I burn any of the 16 metals and I pick up a bit of Nicrosil and I can store it in that bit of Nicrosil. Yes. I'm saying you get any of the 16 metals and you can store it in their chorus, their, no! their ability. In no, the I completely disagree with that. That's dumb as hell. I don't think that's dumb as hell. It absolutely is. Hell. You're fired. No, just kidding. There <laughs> is no, there is some support for Eric's idea. There is no support for you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Your pay is doubled. That is... Good, sir. <laughs> <laughs> doubled. Tripled. Quadrupled, in fact. That you have to be dangerous get paid. with that. <laughs> yeah. That is oh, not to true. say that it's impossible because we are talking about an effect that we don't know anything about. There is support. I've just remembered there is support for oh, what I'm saying. I'm ready. The bands have every metal. The bands are made of every single metal. If what Eric is saying is true, the bands would only need to be 16. No, because it also has like microsil. you can tap like weight and heat in all of the ferrochemical. Did it have all the ferrochemical yes. abilities in it? Yep. Yes. yes. If you could use all the Lord Ruler's abilities. That's the whole point of the pans. Okay. And they yeah. had health. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of how. Back yeah. survive. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's my UK. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Ah, curse is soiled again. Oh. I just like <laughs> the ability of burning and having an alimentic trait and being able to store that is storing investiture. You need that Nicrosil fair chemical ability to do that and store it in Nicrosil. You don't store it in other steel. You could. <laughs> no, no. Why can you? Why, okay, no. okay, let me ask you this. Why can you store weight in steel? Because why? ruin and preservation and you the physically can't. Wait, wait, which one's steel? Which one's steel? Oh, speed. Sorry, yeah, speed. <laughs> why can you store spear, the spear? <laughs> why can you store speed in steel? You can't even and talk. We're getting so riled up. <laughs> I love it. And it's, 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 it's because, why is because that's how it works. Because, Maybe this because is how it works. Ruin and Preservation and Skadriel interacted together yep. and said... Yeah, they did. Said. Yep. And they, <laughs> that's just how the metallic arts came into being. But you can't, like, store a thing that you couldn't store... You, you can't... You just then, can't do that. But then before you... Before the, like, I don't know, the epilogue of the Final Empire, we thought you couldn't burn a metal and get its ferrochemical attribute. But you can. So maybe you can burn a metal and <laughs> it store its alimentic... It was foreshadowed. Yeah. Because yeah, that's what, that's Ben what could saying. sense the reserve, just couldn't access it. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you're saying that was foreshadowed whilst being able to store Alamancy in its corresponding... And, and also, foreshadowing, foreshadowing but, of yeah, having it store investiture is also foreshadowing and would be... have the same effect, okay. but use an ability that we actually know exists. Yeah. <laughs> We do know Nicrosil does store investiture. We definitely and that would do. Be know one that. explanation. <laughs> that would we don't be one know how it works, but it's, I think it's probably involved yeah. in enhancing investiture. I have this really crazy theory. <laughs> Whoa! I know. Okay. I know. Well, that, is that what all of those emails about <laughs> enhancement? I ah, guess. Yes. Are about? Yeah. It, yep. Yep. It's all. It's all going <laughs> on the the enhancement. Old Microsil. Yep. <laughs> Burned her alumin oh, today. So you're, you're telling me. You're telling me. <laughs> if I had actually read those emails instead of deleting them from my spam folder, you could I would know how learning. how. Absolutely. I read every single email I get, which tells me about enhancement. I love. And I can definitely talk about. I those love things. the spam emails that I get. <laughs> proposing to post terrible paid articles on 17 chart that happens to me all the time <laughs> but they're like would you be interested in some paid promotional relevant content no i'm good actually <laughs> no C considering that like half of the relevant content comes from us yeah and also <laughs> it, 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 it doesn't even use my name so it's just like hello user i've seen your site 17 chart please contact me it's great it's quality spam Okay, I, I completely agree that you probably have more of a point than I did. I, <laughs> I've never really questioned it because <laughs> yeah, because I've never really questioned it because I just kind of assumed because we haven't seen it like properly you done. You just always thought yet, it was so. some sort of. I just assumed. Yeah. I thought you just scored the Alimentic attribute in its corresponding. No! I was like, yeah, that makes sense to me. No! Like, I just <laughs> I've always thought it uses the Nicrosil because. Why could you. No. That, that's insane. That's crazy talk. I don't know. I'm gonna. We'll, we'll find out eventually, the, won't we? 
You know what? We will find out eventually because there's so many Era 2 questions and weirdness about this junk that enhancing Allomancy with Ferrochemy, this reverse compounding, we're going to see that. We are going to see these spiritual metals in Ferrochemy a lot, I think. One day. Probably. Uh, so there, there's, there's one other Lord Ruler thing to talk about, guys. And I know you guys are just so very excited because it's the Lord Ruler in Hemalurgy. Because <laughs> let, let me, let me paint a picture for you guys. In but, mis- but Eric, the Lord Ruler is a servant of preservation, and Hemalurgy <laughs> is ruins magic system. So well, I would the, two, the two would Hemalurgy is of the enemy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I was actually actively trying not to say that. <laughs> yeah, I, I had it. I, Look, <laughs> half the reason for everyone reading these books is so we can just make in-jokes. Because we're very welcoming yeah, yeah. to new listeners. On, this <laughs> on one of the Mistborn annotations, uh, Brandon says, uh, talking about the, the Inquisitors having the linchpin spike, Marsha's plan to kill the Lord Ruler is a good one, too. Unfortunately, the Lord Ruler's power doesn't come only from hemalurgy, but from other things as well. If he'd pull the bracelets off instead... Oh, that's right, because he tried to kill him. Yeah, yeah, yeah Marsh tried to kill yes. him. Because, yeah. Tried to pull out his linchpin spikes, yep. but he ain't yeah, yeah, got yeah, yeah. one. He, he, thought, he thought he had one. Yeah, yeah. which yeah. is completely reasonable from Marsh's perspective. Yeah. How do you grant special abilities? Ah, the thing that were spiked into me. Great. Uh, then, from the legendary Hero of Ages Q&A on Time Wasters, Dar Exbane asked, in an annotation from book one, it is mentioned that the Lord Ruler needed all three magic systems in order to do what he did. See, that's the one that I wanted to find. All three magic systems. I'm not making this crap up. Research breaking, all three yeah. magic. I want to find this. I know it's real. Wow. Wow. Baby rage. Free. All right. So we, we just spent like 10 minutes trying to find this. But yes. Anyway, I we. I thought. We. <laughs> you guys are so unhelpful sometimes. Multiple, multiple people. More than one. In this, in this call. Yes. Uh, <laughs> anyway. So Dark Spain. In an annotation book one, it is mentioned that the Lord Ruler needed all three magic systems in order to do what he did. We couldn't find that, but... We couldn't find that. But, okay, sure. I always assumed it meant his hemalurgy enhanced his allomancy. Did Marsh get a double power, or is the ferrochemy allomancy combo enough? Uh, and Brandon said, he, the Lord Ruler, used hemalurgy to pull off his most dramatic effects. Marsh didn't need them, but it makes things much easier. Begin. And and then there's one later on, like from like the Shadows of Self tour, where Brendan's like, Does the Lord Wheeler have female? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> like, right, he literally gonna... like turns to Isaac and yes, asks. Yes, I remember Isaac that. And, yeah, and at like, the release party, I think. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, let's let's start with why the Lord Ruler doesn't actually need hemalurgy to pull off his most dramatic effects. Because exactly what we said earlier, he ma- remade himself yeah. with the well to be ridiculously powerful, and he can enhance his yeah. Almancy with Ferrochemy because methods. Yeah. When you are a fullborn, you already can compound everything you need. You'd never... Uh, to you do any effect with Almancy with Ferrochemy, you just use your Almancy and Ferrochemy. You don't need to double uh, up Unless like he was Vindid. like... Like with yeah. bronze. Yeah, you, you, don't you, wouldn't, you wouldn't need like a, an earring. You don't need a steel spike. You don't need a pewter spike or a gold spike. You don't need any of those to get advanced versions of any of those attributes. You, well, I will... Unless he... Oh. Yep. I was, I was going to comment on that statement. Yeah, do that. But do, you, no, said, no, no. you said unless. No, no, no. Well, okay, okay, I was going to say, yeah, um, yeah, sure. unless he was using hemology to get non- Alamantic and Farukumi things that actually did affect his Alamancy for me. But like That's exactly what I was gonna say. No. Yeah. He oh, okay, killed yeah, yeah. Alendi and stole his destiny. <laughs> maybe. Right, right. That's maybe. right. Yeah, maybe maybe, that, maybe, maybe. he was just stealing everyone's destiny. That's what it was. Like <laughs> That that you know 
I find that very funny. It's like, ah, Lendi, you're the chosen <laughs> one. This is a magic system where you could steal destiny, I guess. And for the record, I don't actually. No, I don't think I don't agree with that either. He would. I mean, to be fair, moving the planet and like almost destroying the world is his most dramatic effect. So, <laughs> like, well, <laughs> that's true. It, in the books, I think is what that yeah, means. Yeah. But yeah. and he didn't. He didn't use hemorrhagey for that. <laughs> yeah. Now, if he did have hemorrhagey, it would be on his arms, right? Uh, yeah. Doesn't need um, to be. Yeah, but but we yeah. but. Yeah. Like, but the bracers were like metal. were like kind of implanted in the skin. Metal, his metal bracers not the same as he No, I know, I know, I know, I know, yeah. I know. But like, mm-hmm. what if if they if those happened to be hemorrhagic spikes, which I do not agree with, because yeah. uh, he doesn't and, need and to. And you're talking about his atium mines, right? The bands of morning. Well, yeah, yes. Qu- Except they're quote not quote. actually. Yes, they're well, not actually I mean, the bands like, of morning that we saw. Yeah. yeah, the bracers. Like, what is... The bracers in the skin <laughs> on his arms. You know what abilities <laughs> on the hemorrhagy table those are? I'm sure you're gonna tell us. Those were <laughs> temporal abilities, alimantic temporal abilities, and spiritual abilities. Of course, they wouldn't be the easy ones. No, not the easy <laughs> ones at all. <laughs> so I just so wanted to throw that out there. Odd logically speaking yes there is no reason he should have had hemorrhagy yes because it's just not right that is however true. we know that ruin has been whispering yes, to him exactly so unless Roshek is crazy which he doesn't seem to be like not the kind of crazy that allows sharks to talk to you yeah uh, he needs hemorrhagy being a sliver may have effects I feel maybe. like it also maybe like being in touch with Ruin at some point and when being in, no, kind I, of in I, line with the shard's intent. I think helps. I, mm, I don't think, okay. but he's not in line with you. You 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 in working some on ways, the assumption. In some ways, he is. You, though. I'm going off the assumption that he was hemolurgic. Whether it makes sense or not, he was hemolurgically spiked, and that's how Ruin influenced. That's that's my uh, that's what I'm taking away. Like, I don't know what the hemology was used for. It doesn't make sense for him to use hemology. But Brandon seems very much in that he was hemologically spiked. So that's, yeah. yeah. It, until he wasn't. When was he wasn't? Like, Brandon wasn't sure. flip flops on that. Yeah. And the yeah, hemology then, table then... doesn't answer this question at all. No. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I think that's just mostly because Brandon hasn't written Arrow yeah. 1 in ages yeah, so it's like right. more him forgetting than him saying that he wasn't actually spiked if you were writing and creating stormlight you're probably going to forget some marijuana details which i think is yeah. fair <laughs> i think that's mm-hmm. completely I fair mean, i'm i'm only reading stormlight and i'm forgetting this born one. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly right Wait, so Mar- marsh marsh tried to kill the lord ruler what yeah. <laughs> Remember the time where Vin tried to kill the Lord Ruler by using the Gold Shadow and trying to kill the Gold Shadow? That was that I loved it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Here's 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 some spiritual halimology for you guys. Oh, okay. Halimology. No. Oh, no. Okay. You could <laughs> just, just just roll with it. He could have stolen someone's destiny. Great. Maybe. Maybe, Maybe. somehow <laughs> he could have stolen investiture. Oh, great. You, great, We great. know even less on how that works. At least I, I have, like, a thing in my brain that if Nicrosil Ferrochemy works that way, like, each ability needs its own metal mind, like, that makes sense. I'm I'm in. Yeah. But, like, what is the... Ah. Ah, he could have stolen someone's connection or identity. Or he could have removed all of his powers. <laughs> So I think it's that one. Sweet. I think I'm, I'm. Yeah. So, yeah. He could. Th- there is actually things in there he could have done. He could have stolen, you know, important people back a thousand years ago. Just, I don't know. Investiture. I don't know. Maybe killed some world hoppers. I don't know. <laughs> he could have. He could have. Like, it doesn't make sense for him to get normal uh, alimentic and ferrochemical things from emology because he doesn't need them. I so, agree. Yeah, so it could be one of those. Maybe we'll get it explained. Maybe it won't. 
and it would just be one of those things where it's like Lord of Rulers, Lord of Rulers, a dum dum, and just spiked himself for the hell of it. Why did yeah. I? Think maybe he was experimenting the, on himself. That yeah, yeah, maybe. Talk with him without a spike, but you're totally right. Uh, I don't. I, I think it was in in an annotation, and I don't think the annotation talks about spikes. It just talks about ruin has been whispering to him for so long. He's not stable or sane or thinking clearly anymore. That's yeah. why he's making bad decisions every now and then. Yeah. Go. I guess I guess the Lord Ruler has to be magically spiked just to have Ruin talk to him. It's yeah. just easy. It wouldn't <sighs> Ruin can do some things to people. Uh I, I don't know. Like the thing is the Lord Ruler in his goal for preservation did cause a lot of destruction. So I don't think it's out of the question yeah. for Ruin to be able to subtly influence things, right? He did, but Preservation also likes Rashek very much. They both like Rashek. Yeah. That's fine. You can... <laughs> two people can like a thing for completely different reasons. That is very fine. And, mm -hmm. uh, and it's just a matter of your point of view. But I, it, with Ruin be, if Ruin did subtly influence the Lord Ruler, probably one of the influence eventually would be, hey, get a spike in you, like just convince, oh yeah, yeah, no, protect your bracers, do this thing with a, with a spike, and then you know the bracers will be safe, and then Ruin could really talk to him. Maybe, hey, maybe he even had like ATM spikes because Ruin was like, man, you always want to make sure you've got some ATM on you so that you're tapping you. Well, Maybe you should his... just stab it into yourself so it's always in there, you know. But, no, okay. His <laughs> metal minds were going through his skin. That doesn't mean they had to be hemologically No, I, oh, I, yeah, totally, yeah. I totally I, yeah. agree. I totally that. agree. Yes, yeah. I 100% yeah. agree. It's just, it's been a long theory, like, at least since that Hero of Ages Q&A that said, oh, yeah, Lord Ruler had hemology. That's like, well, I guess the bracers were hemologically charged, <laughs> I guess, right? Like, what else would you think? Like, I guess there could be things under his skin, right? There could be, maybe the Lord Ruler did crazy hemologic experiments on himself. Oh, my God. That's, that's what I just said. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's weird that he has hemology and it kind of. But he doesn't need sense, but... he doesn't need hemology to do his dr most dramatic effects, need... right? It's just yeah, that just doesn't need to be the case. Maybe do you know what? Maybe Ruin convinced him that he did. Maybe Ruin convinced him, hey, if you want to get even better at like soothing the whole population, <laughs> steal someone's like ah uh, yes, soothing, steal or... a a half breed scars soothing. That'll yeah. really make up the difference from you compounding the allomancy itself. Brilliant. Like he the, is the Lord Ruler. Like he could kill like he could a very kill pure blooded you know noble you're for right, that. You're right. But but the thing is, the more spikes you have, you need uh the. Lynchpin spike. You can't just have an infinite number of spikes. You have to do that very Oh, quickly. yeah. I don't think he had a lot. I don't think he had a lot. Like, I don't know. Because otherwise, it kind of would have been noticeable. Know. I'm... I mean, he knew that spikes equals ruins yeah. control. Like, yeah. he wouldn't... But he did. <laughs> Is it just and... the number of spikes or, like, the amount of charge in them? Uh, well, I, I was... Probably up... the number. The, it would because... seem like the number. That's what I thought as well. Yeah. Yeah. So it was like... Of... Because of the ending of Shadows of Cell. Like, yeah, Wax's right. bullet was not... Charged much. Strongly yeah. charged, and it was enough. Yeah, because, like, if he just, like, used the same spike over and over and over again for the same attribute, like, compounding, like, the amount of charge it has... Not compounding. Can increasing the amount that? of charge he, it has. Oh, or just having, like, one mega spike with, like, dozens of people's worth of... But yeah, of, like, Alamantic I don't think you can do that, though. Oh man, what if you could? I, I think, no, I think there's going to be interference. Yeah, I think there's going to be, because spiritual I, I interference, think, yeah, right. I think the fact that you're stealing, even though you're stealing the same thing, but you're stealing it from different people, I think the identity yeah, yeah, yeah. of those different people is is going to prevent the new charge from sticking. I think it's worth asking, Brandon. I think that's, that's also worth really asking. Really good question. But I do <laughs> think that the answer will be no. Oh, wait. Th no, there was something about breath and hemorrhage. Oh, no. Like, so, okay. Ian, what's up? This doesn't quite say what I, well, it. <laughs> what I wanted to I, say. I remember that this, Brennan didn't actually answer anything with this question. Oh, great. But 
So this was asked by Satsuoni. Okay. In the I don't remember that name. I remember that name. 2013 R Fantasy AMA. Sounds about right. I remember that name. You said that, that every well. person on schedule has a bit of preservation in them. Is it possible then to accumulate enough hemorrhagic charge from killing normal people by, say, steel spike at once or in order to make that spike grant allomancy? Building on this. Yep. Is it possible for the spike to accumulate charge while being embedded in an acceptor body by killing people with the protruding end? Brandon, my, you're making the schedule magic systems sound a lot like the one from Nalthus. Hmm. What? what? So... <laughs> <laughs> no. Brandon! So, Brandon! So, so. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, um, I can't saw out of focus. Like, I'm so angry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's 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 this, yeah this was on reddit yeah your so. your form much like fuzzes is is dissipating oh, when, you, when you get excited yeah. <laughs> um so so this is going back to the not often not oft cited knowledge that allomancy is a result of the imbalance of uh preservation and ruin innate investiture in scadrians where it is the additional um uh, 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 preservation, preservation, Is that true? investiture. Yeah, it's connected. It's it's connected. It's it, like it's not well, a. It's, it's related. I don't know if it's as explicit as it be. It it's not. I'm not. I'm not saying that more preservation investiture means you now get alimency. But it's the thing that like enables the potential to like if they if they were equally balanced, then there no would, would be no element. Yeah, they also yeah. wouldn't be sentient. <laughs> okay, okay fine. fine. The, potato, potato. The, a stronger yeah. connection to preservation. Yeah, yeah. Does make you stronger. Yes, it, yeah, it, uh, yeah, you're right. And and Laresium Yeah, does right. grant connection to preservation. So but like, there's a wild bit people aren't citing here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there are a few leaps you need to jump yeah, through yeah, to, yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to get to this question, which is which is what I'm doing okay, right great. now. Great. Um, and and so the question, hey, if you because when you when you steal anything from a person using hemology, you are stealing a little bit of their spirit web, a little bit of their innate um, uh, investiture. Yeah. Which is a little less than half ruin, a little more than half preservation. And so if you accumulate all of these little chunks of preservation and, and have like 70 spikes in you. Um, you become Mistborn Voltron? <laughs> you didn't, the, you the, question, the question is, do you become Mistborn Voltron? <laughs> uh, and, and it obviously harkens back to um, Awakening and, and the Nalthian magic system where a divine breath is kind of like a large number of regular breaths in some of its effects. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I don't know where we were going with this. I was explaining the question. Oh. I was like talking about how like the um Lord Ruler could have made a super spike. Oh, for, like, okay. Okay. So, so yeah, basically Brandon has just said to this questioner who's asking basically a question that Ian was asking, can you just keep spiking someone it, over it, and over again? And he's basically saying, yeah. oh man, that sounds like what's happening on like the Nalthus magic system without actually answering the question yep. in the positive or the, yep. the affirmative. It's the very thing. similar, but not quite the same. I think. Neither, the same. but the, the, the premise of the question doesn't say or imply using the same spike. Uh, it yes, like it does. The whole in order thing. Let me find the actual. Does it? It's like you using the protruding spike. No, that, that's, yeah. that's the second. That's the second half. Can you, if you are already spiked, just like jump back and and spike somebody else and acquire additional the first half of the question is can you just accumulate enough hey. but like it would From, have to be I a, assume... a single spike why would either way brandon isn't confirming or denying what the questions are so it doesn't it's, it doesn't it's, it's a really quality <laughs> brandon troll answer it's like thanks brandon yeah. no it is yeah. it is it's also a good also, question in... Also, in my head, I was imagining you spike yourself in the hand, and then you just go around like stabbing people with this. That wow. that's a little more practical than, than <laughs> the image I had in my head. <laughs> Do we have any an, inquisitor, an, an inquisitor just headbutting people? <laughs> oh, it's a 
It's a unicorn inquisitor. <laughs> 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 it's the steel unicorns. That, that, that's that's the Your AU. Army, what hath I wrought? That's the that's the <laughs> AU that I want. It's it's a unicorn it's not... made of steel with with a spike, yeah. an adium spike. Obviously, I mean, come on. Ob uh, obviously, yeah, so, so you can steal anything. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, and it, the unicorn just goes impaling people. Hemolog hemolog <laughs> hemologically. Hemologically. And and because it's, it's... the spike is in the unicorn. The unicorn, it, it's a universal bind point for the unicorn. I mean, it makes sense. Matt, what if the whole, what if the whole sure. unicorn was the hemorrhagic Actually, spike? it's my... So it, run it's actually people. just like... my little pony, but it, the person in... The <laughs> pony in charge is an evil steel unicorn who's actually just the Lord Ruler. <laughs> this is... This is this is perfect AU material, this, guys. We're giving you guys these ideas for free. Like, come on, this is this is good quality content right now. Do, do, do we have any other Lord Ruler thoughts, guys? <laughs> we we definitely talked a lot about the abilities, and maybe you found it was interesting. I think. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll find out. Comment below. Uh... I like Kelsier. Am hope about this. Matt, I can't believe we got this far into the Lord Ruler mechanics uh, podcast without actually talking about the Lord Ruler mechanics, like the people that maintain his like carriages and stuff. Like, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nick, Nick, the tin, the tinning ten machines. Out of the, ten you know. out of ten. You know, <laughs> just for that, Ben, I think I might make the yeah? title of this podcast the Lord Ruler's Powers and Abilities. <laughs> just to undermine you. But you know who undermines the Lord Ruler? The Ska making tunnels. Those are mechanics. Yeah, I was I was gonna say something about miners. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Vin, because she's a miner. Boo! All right, yeah. it's time for who is that <laughs> Cosier character? This character is from Roshar. Menace. Tia. Tom. Braze. Void in drag on a horse. <laughs> it's time for who's that Cosmere character? Call. Welcome to Who's That Cosmic Character, the game show where you guys send in the five clues in a character, and then I ask these guys to try and guess who the character is based on the five clues, and then if they win, then they win, yeah, and then if they can't guess who the character is by the fifth clue, then you guys win, and they all suck, yeah. If they win, they win, thanks, <laughs> thanks, Captain Tautology, <laughs> I needed oh, that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and then, and then... No, if they win, we get bonus point. we get points. Like Hopefully, added to like, a tally, yeah. And someone one day might catch up. There's still up that spreadsheet. <laughs> has Which... it been updated? I don't think well, so. I don't know. I, I, I someone update the standings. I want to know how much I'm destroying everyone. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay. So, this first Who's That Cosmic Character was sent in by Ambition's Avatar. Oh, oh she yeah. does excellent art for the Copper Mind and, a few and other, other things. things. That you'll see eventually. Oh, oh, right. So, clue number one: this character does not wear shoes. Finn, oh. it is not Finn. Like the ever, urchin boy who <laughs> runs in like the one Yim helps in his oh, interview. Oh, okay. okay. It is not the. Urchin boy that Yim helps in his interlude. Uh, that, that's an adequate description for a character. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I, nice. Absolutely. I don't even know if he's named. <laughs> I don't think yeah. he's named. <laughs> yeah. Look, we had one on Susa Brown's mom, so it doesn't have to be named. You just have to be specific and somewhat memorable. But yeah. Sure, sure. I'm going to say Human the Coloss. It is not Human the Coloss. I don't think they wear shoes. <laughs> Uh, this character has been known to take their own initiative in battle. That is an interesting clue. Tom. Mm. It is not Tom. That is also an interesting guess. <laughs> initiative. Lift. It is not lift. So, I know this one isn't right, but there was a point where Kaladin didn't have shoes, so I'm going to go with Kaladin. <laughs> <laughs> it is not Kaladin. He takes initiative there's... in battle. There is a point okay. in everyone's life where they don't have shoes. shoes. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a very good idea for 
who this entity could be. Huh? Okay. But I have two entity. options, and I don't know which one it could be. I can't wait for Clue 3 so to I'm destroy really both hoping of them. This next <laughs> this happens to me every time I try and play this. It's like, yep, yeah, I've got a good idea, and then that's, it just That's why you like being the host, so then you don't have to guess. Yeah, because I'm terrible at this game. Clue <laughs> number three. <laughs> this character has dark hair and blue eyes. That's not helpful at all. Gallant. It is Gallant. Because <laughs> uh, <laughs> Rishadium don't need yeah, yeah, um, horses. Okay. Yeah, they don't need Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah uh, like, is it Sherblood? Is it Gallant? I don't uh, know. Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> yeah, clue number four was this character. So it does, yeah. Character does not, this survives the Battle of Narok. And five, this character is not human. I really need to just ro- read up on these Rishadium because these come up every few months and I just need to be like <laughs> ready with like a Rishadium. Like I need to say like menace, sure blood, gallant and just like I'll, I'll just be ready. Cool. Character number two. This was sent in by Humanity. That's Hugh with a H-E-W at the beginning. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. That's, that's, that's cute. Clue number one. This character died. Kelsier. It is not Kelsia. Shoreblood. It is not Shoreblood. Ulida. It's not Ulida. Clue number Actual two. Actual ambitions avatar. <laughs> uh, not an a- avatar. Hey. Uh, True. Yeah. This character was considered quite powerful. Aiden Ozium? It is not Aiden Ozium. Russia. It is not Russia. Ah! No, going, going all the way to the power, to the power ladder. <laughs> all the way up. <laughs> We're going to guess every dead shark. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be one of them. Read me, read me the, the, the exact wording of the second clue again. Uh, this character was considered powerful. Was considered powerful. Okay. Was considered. Because they died. Well, because <laughs> I, was, I was considering guessing Suzebron, but he was not powerful pre-death. So I don't think I will guess that. Wait, Suzebron's not dead. But was he considered dead, powerful? Though. He was. Yeah, he you was. have to die to return. Oh, he was born stillborn. Okay, well, right. he probably you're died. Right. At you're, some right. you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. right. I, I accept that my comment was really dumb. <laughs> I not as dumb as the comment that I had where it's like, oh, someone has a child, and I'm like, Elokar, <laughs> and then I guess Yazda instead. It's just completely <laughs> idiotic. So it wasn't quite that idiotic, but. Uh, okay, so someone needs to make a highlight reel cons- out of stupid things I say on this show. <laughs> Screw it, Kelsier. I already guessed Kelsier. That was <laughs> the first I, guess I guessed. I did not hear your guess at all. That was literally <laughs> it, someone's dead, and I said Kelsier. I I did you, not hear it. Like it did not get to my ears. Do you guys want to hit clue number three? <laughs> sure. No. Yeah. Clue number no. three is this character is still alive. <sighs> okay, was considered quite powerful. And what was clue one again? This character died. Vasher. Oh. It's not Vasher. Zeth? It is not Zeth. Town. It is not Town. Oh, crap, there's all the heralds too? <laughs> no! <laughs> clue number oh, four. Crap. This character was considered a mother. All mother? It was all mother. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> it's a return. Yeah, one of the returns that yeah. she held. Yeah, I mean, one, yes, was it I like know. a quarter of the army or like one of the code words? Yeah. It had still had political so she was, power. Uh, she yeah. was the old one. Yeah. Yep. Yes. The ma- matronly. Yes. Yes. There you go. Well done. Well done. Boom. Uh, Thank you, Ambitions Avatar and Humanity. I, I, will, I will take tangential credit. For this answer, why? Because I was I was onto you, humanity. <laughs> From clue two. Yeah, and then you get ke- guess Kelsier again. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I I have I'm I'm like Taravangian. I have my good moments and some on a strong <laughs> day. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, all right, guys. Thank you for watching this. Have I shown you my knife? That's not relevant. I also That's have a nice knife. knife. That's um, not a knife. This is a knife. Actually, it's invisible. I have a wooden sword, but like, mm, you know. This is not... A knife. <laughs> so, by the time this episode has been posted, 
there is a new and exciting thing. Ian, let us know what it is. So we have a Patreon. Yay! So if you want to help out the show and the fan sites in general, yes, then give us some money. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So if you want to help us out, you can just give us a dollar a month if you want. Yeah. And I or mean, any we, amount we of money. It. We would any amount of money. really appreciative for anything. If you want, mm-hmm. please don't feel yeah, obligated no pressure. to do. And uh, one of the things you can get is you can get some Discord perks, a little badge on the forum with that. And uh, we would really appreciate it. Uh, but, mm-hmm. you know, make sure you take care of yourself first. Uh, don't give yeah. money that yeah. you don't have. Yeah. Like, don't do that. That, that's a good rule for life. Yeah, don't like <laughs> give, don't give money you can't live with that. Yeah, like don't like go donate to like Twitch streamers or something if you are like if you like need to buy food. Like buy food. Yeah. Food is definitely more important. I don't know. We hope you enjoy the show and if you want to support us, you can. If you don't, then that's also totally fine. We'll mm-hmm. keep on keeping on. Yeah. And Shardcast will always be free. Yeah, we're, we're not, not we're not going to like paywall. Yeah, we're not gonna do that so we hope you enjoyed this show mm-hmm. and in addition to patreon show.com for all your news discussion theories and fun that you could ever want join us on discord as well because if you're a patron you get you'll get offset in the list and uh, follow us on uh, soundcloud youtube leave us a review on itunes and we will see you all next time oh wait there's one other thing there's one other thing because i think next week we're gonna have a very special episode ben where yes because we have so many Who's That Cosmere character episodes. We uh, we reached, the queue reached 100 this week. And so... doing two a week is not really cutting that down. No. So we are going to have a dedicated Who's That Cosmere character episode. We're going to keep score. Ian's going to win. We all know that's going to be the case. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get creative. I'm going to do some fun stuff. It's going to be are a you... great time. Yeah, How much I've editing idea, am I going to need to do in post for the fun stuff? Hopefully not a lot. You're going to be coming out a lot of silences. But other Well, than that's that, true. Yeah, and putting time. I thought that was um, Ben volunteering to epi- edit the episode. No, he can't. I've, so, I'm... guys, Ben can't edit those. <laughs> the Who's That Cosmere character is because his premiere oh, actually... doesn't have text. He can't put text <laughs> in it. All right, guys. We will see you all next time. We hope you enjoy. See you later. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.